morning this is kasturi de today i'm going to start a new chapter on icc syllabus class 8 okay so the chapter is health and hygiene okay so uh what is health health is a state of complete physical mental and social well being and not merely an absence of disease or infirmity we say no that uh, we don't have a disease so i am a healthy person i have a good health so not that not only that you should not have a disease that is uh, correct but you should also have a complete physical mental and social well being then only a person will be healthy person okay so being healthy is well being in physical mental and social aspect to remain healthy we should regularly eat a balanced diet do a regular exercise and take adequate rest okay so to become healthy or to remain healthy we should eat a balanced diet proper carbohydrate protein fat everything should be in a balanced condition do certain type little or uh, more as you wish as your uh, body permits so do the exercise regularly and adequate rest is also required to become to remain healthy okay then opposite of being healthy is a disease okay so what is disease then we come okay so we come to the disease now disease is any any physical or functional change from a normal state that causes disconnect or disability or affects the health of a person okay so it is of any physical or functional change from a normal state in normal person what is having any change from that uh, from that state whether it is physical or functional change which is ca causing him to disconnect or disability or affecting the health of that person that is known as disease it's the state which is having the which is the disease okay state of a person now so a person is said to be suffering from a disease uh, when the normal structure or function of their body is harmed or weakened and it does not work properly you are feeling tired you are you are feeling feverish so your body temperature is high it's normal no it's not normal so that is a disease for that person now disease are of two types that is communicable disease and non communicable disease now first we come to communicable disease now what is communicable disease communicable disease is a disease which are passed on from one infected person to a healthy person from an infected person to a healthy person when it passes on when the disease passes on through contact air water food or other organism that disease is known as communicable disease this is the other name of communicable disease is infectious disease okay now also called uh, uh, these are caused by microorganisms okay these microorganisms which cause a disease is known as pathogen or germs okay for example bacteria virus fungi protozoa or worms these cause diseases so these are the pathogens or germs which cause this communicable diseases now example of the this type of diseases communicable diseases like influenza measles malaria dengue chikungunya aids okay <clears throat> even swine flu which is known as h1n1 is also an infectious disease which is caused by swine influenza virus it infects cells deep in the lungs okay the uh, it infects the cells which are in the lungs but in the deep lungs okay when it can cause pneumonia where it can cause pneumonia and in severe cases it can cause death next we come to the some of the communicable diseases how are they uh, caused which by which agent they are caused and how are they transmitted there what are the symptoms and what are the 
preventive measures. So first we come to influenza virus. Influenza. So influenza is caused by mixoviruses. It's a group of virus. Okay, it's a viral disease. is It's caused by mixoviruses, and a mode of transmission is a droplet, droplet infection through coughing, sneezing, and spitting. Now symptoms are sudden fever with headache, sore throat, muscle pain, coughing, sneezing, etc. Now how can we prevent this influenza? Keeping away from the infected person. When uh, somebody is infected, keep away, keep distance from that person so that you do not get infected by that, uh, by uh, any mode of transmission. Then. You should cover your mouth and nose while coughing and sneezing. If you are infected, then you should cover your nose and uh, mouth so that the other persons are not infected from you. Now, second po second uh, name of the disease is the measles. Measles is caused by paramyxovirus. Okay, it is caused by paramyxovirus. Then it is uh, again it is caused it is uh, the mode of transmission is viral uh, droplet infection through coughing, sneezing and spitting. Now here the symptoms are sore throat, runny nose, watery eyes, dry cough with fever and small white spots appear on the inner walls of the cheek inner walls of the cheek some white spots appears then the red rashes appear first in the neck and then the whole body okay within a week the rashes fade away leaving brown colored spots where the rashes have come out the, there will be brown colored spots will be there after the measles uh, this uh, red rashes vanish the preventive measures are you should be given mmr vaccine okay given to a child at the age of 9 months to 15 months mmr vaccine if 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 a child is given from 9 to 15 months then the this can be prevented this measles can be prevented and if a person gets measles he should be he or she should be kept isolated from the uh, others uh, for 12 to 12 to 15 days he should be kept away okay next we come to malaria malaria is caused by plasmodium species or uh, it's a protozoa okay uh, here the mode of transmission is through the bite of infected anopheles mosquito here anopheles mosquito is the carrier of this plasmodium species it carries uh, the uh, mosquito carries the plasmodium uh, species and he when uh, it uh, bites the other person uh, when it first when uh, when the anopheles mosquito bites an infected person it uh, it takes up this plasmodium from the infected person into its uh, blood and when it uh, sits on a healthy person uh, he uh, it spits into that it injects that uh, plasmodium into the healthy person and the healthy person gets infected by this or, or with this malaria now symptoms are parasite parasite this plasmodium parasite it multiplies in rbc and destroys them okay and alternate phases of chill and high fever repeatedly comes in a day or three to four days okay he will be totally chill and then again he can he will have a high fever and then vomiting and severe headache is there fever subsides with profuse sweating when the fever is subsiding you will get a profuse sweating okay so these are the symptoms of this malaria uh, disease then what are the preventive measures preventive measures is prevent mosquito breeding by spreading insecticides or oil over the water so that the mosquito does not breed then using mosquito net while sleeping then using mosquito repellent cream or ointment so that there is a no mosquito bite and then taking anti-malarial drugs such as chloroquine okay that uh, this anti-malarial drug is taken when the person gets malaria okay. next we come to 
the dengue now dengue is also uh, caused by mosquito the it's a causative agent is barbovirus and the mode of transmission is aids mosquito aids mosquito is the carrier okay here also there will be high fever and severe muscle and joint pain pain behind the eyes nausea and vomiting sensation red color rash over the skin from the fourth to the sixth day of the infection platelet count goes down considerably even as low as it can go down to 20000 now bleeding from the gums nose and bruising can happen and preventive measures are prevent mosquito from breeding again by spreading insecticides or oil over the in the water coolers or stagnant water okay then do not let water stagnant okay in broken bottles pots coolers tires where the mosquito breeds okay avoiding mosquito from breeding then wearing full sleeve shirts or sh socks to prevent mosquito bite using mosquito repellent cream and ointment taking liquid diet with fluids such as coconut water etc this uh, taking more of a liquid during when the person is infected or from dengue okay so i'll stop here i'll uh, continue with the rest of the chapter in my next video okay i before ending it i will uh, ask you one question what is the other name for uh communicable diseases okay what is the other name for the communicable diseases please write in the comment box okay and in the next video i'll give the answer and this answer is in this video only okay so if you have any doubt please do write in the comment box and if you like the video press the like button and share your share this uh, video with your friends and other uh, colleagues so that they can also be benefited from this video okay and if you are a new viewer to my channel and not subscribed yet please do subscribe to get the notification of my next video thank you